All right, what's going on? Uh, this is that uh, Tazar fight, or not Tazar, it's pronounced Czar, I figured out. The Czar fight cave tutorial. Um, anyone, I'd like to first off say, uh, anyone coming across this video, uh, this is a tutorial, tutorial specifically uh, for a friend of mine. Uh, this he, he has to do it a specific way if he wants to beat it, and this is how. And uh, so this shouldn't be taken as a general way of doing uh, fight cave. In fact, there are uh, more effective and probably even faster ways of doing it. Uh, but this is just a video for that specific way, and you know, if anyone can use this, you know, this method if they want. Um, all right. So anyway, Jay or Beg, who I am making this video for. Uh, this is where the tutorial will start. Uh, on your, we'll start with your equipment. Um, uh, let's see here. There we go. All right. You want to be using uh, at least level seventy mage robes. So for you, you're probably going to want to buy uh, Aram's robes since they'll be the cheapest. Uh, I'm using sub robes right here. Normally, I would do this with. Uh, uh, what do I use? Ganodermic. I would use Ganodermic armor, but to, uh, so I can, you know, do the fight caves the way you'll be doing them. I, just, I downgraded my armor just for this video. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, you want to wear level 70 uh, armor. Uh, it's level 70 gloves and boots. I mean, I'm using Barrow's gloves and Rage Fire boots. Uh, you'll probably use. Let's see here. You will probably want to use Combat Bracelet and probably Mystic Boots. I think that's the best you can probably get and afford right now. Um, you'll be borrowing my Armadillo Battle Staff. Um, you, I know you have a God Cape, so bring that. Uh, I'm only using Slayer Helmet because this is actually my Slayer task. Uh, but you'll want to use uh, Aram's Hood. Uh, you probably are going to use an Amulet of Glory. I'm using Ceridoman's Hiss, just because that's what I have. I, I threw away my uh, Glory Amulet, so you know, a long time ago. Um, no ring is needed. Uh, aura, you don't really need any aura. Any, if you bring any aura, it's just, it's just bonus. Um, inventory, since I have it open. Uh, all you're going to need is a shield. It doesn't matter uh, what shield you what shield you bring. It can be it can be a really good shield or a really crappy shield. You're just going to be using the shield for uh, resonance and rejuvenate. Uh, you're going to want to bring prayer potions. I recommend five just to be safe. Uh, that's what... I mean, I'm using super restores. Uh, you don't need super restores. You can use prayer. I just use super restore because that's me. Uh, and then the rest is just going to be food. Uh, you shouldn't have to use any of this food. You can, you can probably do the entire fight cave without eating any of this and only using one potion. But uh, the reason you have all that extra is just in case. All right. Uh, so, yeah, and also you specifically are going to want to bring water rooms, uh, bring it, just bring a lot, bring like 10,000 water rooms, all right, uh, because you're going to want to use, I think the, the best spell you'll be able to use in there is water wave, which will be helpful against the meleeers, um, but not really any extra help against, uh, the uh, rangers or the majors, uh, but you'll you'll you still be all right as long as you're uh, using my armadillo battle staff. Uh, armadillo ba armadil battle staff gives you infinite air runes, so only bring uh, water runes. And if you for some reason don't bring a lot of water runes and you run out, it's no big deal because you can just uh, switch over to air wave, and it's the same same amount of damage. You'll just be a little less accurate against uh, the meleeers, but then again, Armadillo's Battle Staff is a level 77 weapon, so it's uh, it's pretty accurate. Alright, uh, so that's your equipment. Uh, this is will be your inventory. You can't take summoning in, so don't worry about that. Uh, this right here is your ability lineup. You're basically just going to want to use a bunch of basic abilities. All right? I'm using uh, Rack, Dragon Breath, Combust, Impact, Sonic Wave, chain and the only threshold ability you'll want to use is asphyxiate uh, the only ultimate ability will be rejuvenate um, throw regenerate in there because you'll use that for the majority of your healing uh, I put food on emergency uh, what is that Emerg just, you know emergency food just in case you know I, I fuck up 
Uh, and the last two slots, you know, you can put whatever the fuck you want there. I don't need them for anything. So, uh, yeah. That's basically what you're going to be using. Uh, do not use any of your magic ultimate abilities, and don't use any other threshold abilities uh, besides Asphyxiate. Uh, the reason being is you're going to want to be able to spam as many uh, basic abilities as you can uh, for when you get to the healers on the jet. Uh, but getting to jet himself should not be a problem for you at all. It should actually be really easy. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. So let's get this started here. I'm just going to go right into the cave. First thing to know when you're in the fight cave, run to... I'm going to turn my music down a little bit. There we go. First thing you want to do is run all the way down here to the southwest corner. You see this big uh, peninsula thing sticking out here? Right here? This is your safe spot, all right? Uh, you're gonna want to. You're, you're gonna be spending the entire fight kit around this spot. All right. Uh, right here in this little indent here, and sometimes depending on the course and what you're fighting, right here along the wall, all of this is safe from stuff over here and over here. All right. Anything that spawns right here though, will get you. Anyway, uh, now onto the the monsters you'll be uh, encountering. The first one is this one right here that's been you know kind of pecking at me. It's called a Tiz Key. I don't know if that's actually how it's pronounced, uh, but for simplicity's sake, we're just going to call these the bats, all right? They're really weak. You can kill them really fast. Oh, what? Oh, damn it. Okay, hold on. I was on fire, so... Just... Come on. There you go. See, they die real fast. Big one. I got 463 Slayer XP off that? No, I don't think I'll... Anyway. Um... So yeah, they're they're pretty easy to kill. Now, you, as you can see right here, perfect example of safe spot. I'm heading right. I'm sitting right here. He can't get to me. He's stuck right there. All right. Um, these guys are not dangerous at all. They really won't do any damage. The only thing you need to know about them is if you watch. Uh, every time he hits me, all right. Every time I get hit, I lose ten prayer points. And then if he actually does damage on me, I'll lose more. Okay. So that's the that's what's unique about these little bat things. Uh, they uh, they will lower your prayer if they hit you, but don't worry about losing your prayer because you are not going to need prayer until you get to the jet. So that's what you brought all these super restores for. All right, the next monster is these things, the Pizkek. Uh I just call them blobs. They're also pretty easy to kill. As you can see here, I got this guy caught behind the safe spot. Kind of hammer them, you know, with all your abilities and stuff. And they die pretty fast. But when they die, they'll split into these small litter, small little test kicks or lobs. So, you know, just uh, same thing, just kind of run them over. Alright? Just like that. Okay, that takes care of that. And then, you know, just between waves, just, you know, throw in Rejuvenate. Or Regenerate. I don't even need it. I didn't lose any health there. Anyway. Alright. The uh, next monster you'll run into is these things up here. The Toxil. Uh, these are the Rangers. Um, they're probably what will do the most damage to you since... Uh, Level 70 robes have low, uh, lower range defense, you know, because they're magic class. Uh, so, you kind of just want to, you know, kill these things as fast as you can. They're not really that difficult, you know, just kind of hit them and they'll, they'll go down. These are the only rangers in the, uh, in the entire cave, so they're not that big a threat. And, I mean, as you can see, I'm using level 70 robes. He still is, is still barely damaging me, so you'll, you'll be alright. Just remember to use uh, Regenerate here, like in between waves. Oh, he spawned behind me. Okay, the next uh, the next one of these monsters you'll face is this thing called the Yitmeshko. I have, again, I have, no idea, I have no idea about how to pronounce these names. Um, these guys are just big-ass meleeers. Uh, before the evolution of combat, these, if they actually hit you, they could like tear you to shreds. Uh, in evolution of combat, they're not very dangerous at all. Uh, besides, they're so uh, enormous uh, that you can easily take them out from a safe spot. You don't even have to engage them in combat. 
Uh, the only thing that's uh, interesting to know about these guys is if they damage you, uh, they will heal. They will heal themselves uh, by, a by a small percentage of uh, uh, how much the damage they dealt to you. Uh, it's not a lot, and it's not anything to be worried about. It's just a little extra thing. So, all you do is, you know, just right here, you just uh, take them out from the same spot. See? Can't even get Real quick, I'm gonna just throw this in right now. You basically want to use uh, asphyxiate uh, whenever you possibly can, uh, except against stuff that's really, you know, small like this, uh, because asphyxiate does the most damage. It actually does more damage than any of your ultimate abilities will. Uh, so you want, you basically want to use it whenever you can on the bigger stuff. Okay, uh, the last uh, monster you'll have to worry about uh, before you encounter the Jad is these big dog-like things called Ketzex. Uh, before the evolution of combat, these things were extremely dangerous, and if you did not pray protect uh, protect magic, then they would kill you within two or three hits, something like that. They, maybe not that. They were dangerous, though. Uh, in evolution of combat, these are not dangerous anymore. In fact, no, I mean, as I'm sure you will have noticed by the time you get to these, nothing in the fight cave is really dangerous anymore. Uh, uh, but anyway, these are the majors. Um, they will just they'll just launch a big fireball at you, just like anything else. You just pop out from behind the safe spot and pound them with magic. Uh, it's no big deal. Just there you go. And then there will still be about uh, I'm on wave thirty something by now. I forgot to check, but uh, <clears throat> uh, there's gonna be. They're, they're gonna. These are gonna be in every wave. At once, once they start spawning, they're gonna be in every wave until Jad. So, you know, just be wary. All right. Now, last thing I want to do before we cover the Jad uh, is just to talk about the sequence real quick. Uh, you'll notice that I just killed the cat Zack, and here it comes right there. And you'll notice the the thing that spawned in the next next wave was a cat Zack and one of the little bats. All right. Um, the best way to describe the sequence is uh, two of one creature will equal one of the next up in the chain. Uh, so the way these waves will go is first wave is one bat, second wave is two, then wave three is one of those blob things. I forget what I forget what they're called. Uh, after that, it'll be a blob and a bat. Then it's a blob and two bats. Then it's two blobs. Then it's a ranger. Then it's a ranger and a bat. Then a ranger and two bats. And a ranger and a blob. You, know, see, you see the sequence. So it basically is two bats equals a blob. Two blobs equal a ranger. Two rangers equal a melee. And two meleeers equal a major. Uh, it will do that all the way up until finally you'll face two majors, which I guess together will equal jam. So uh, that's just uh, just to. For, you, know the sequence so you, you know what's going to be coming in the in the uh, next one. It kind of helps you prepare just a little bit. But then again, remember, nothing here is dangerous, so, you know, whatever. Alright, I want to go through this quick bit in right here. Uh, as you can see, like, when you get to these later waves, uh, you can get stuff that'll spawn right down here. You can get a whole mess of stuff, you know, over here. You know, I just wanted to show you, you know, that if this happens, like you get stuff that spawns down here and stuff that spawns over here, so you can't be safe from everything, it's not really any big deal, alright? Because I mean, as you see, that melee were just like came up on me. I, I didn't even bother, just like I took him out. He, like, I mean, look, he didn't even do really any damage, so. So if that happens, alright, and you find yourself in a, you know, a little situation like that where you can't be safe from everything, just don't panic, because it's really not any threat, alright? 